Hippo Nation, welcome back yet again to another episode of Gears of War Ultimate Edition playthrough. This is the Bankrupt Hippo coming at you again. Thanks so much for joining us on this journey. So yesterday, I left off at the point where we're actually fighting the corpse here in the middle of Act 3, Belly of the Beast. That's kind of exciting. A little bit more fun, a little bit more shocking. I almost actually got through this on my, this corpse on my first try, so... Kind of cool, kind of exciting. I don't remember it being that easy, and of course, as I figured out toward the end of that first attempt, it was not. I got destroyed at the point where you gotta kind of destroy this bridge, but I'll let the playing do the talking. I'll shut it up now so you guys can enjoy it a little bit more. Well, objective simple, let's kill the corpse -er. Not like that poor son of a bitch had no luck doing. He's gonna stand back a little bit. The corpse -er's arms can only reach so far, so if you stand back just a little bit, you're good. If you keep shooting the corpse -er in the belly here, then this is just a small strategy. As soon as the corpse -er reaches up its arms, shoot it in the belly a few times, and then when it starts freaking out, shoot it in the face. If it's freaking out, shoot it in the face. Right in the mouth. Right in the teeth. Not in the helmet part. Don't do the helmet part because that won't do you any good. See? As soon as it's exposing its belly. Just like that. Now, I would stay. So, right here. It's gonna. Clap. Smashable clamp, right? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna smash on the clamp and let the corpse try to mess us up. However. You're gonna, yep, you're gonna hear Dom in a second say wretches. Fight the wretches first. Do yourself a favor. Don't try and do both at once. It's not going to go well, especially since we're playing on insane difficulty, so I would not recommend trying it. Oh, uh, yeah, I, okay, I totally, I, I fucked it up for us, guys, sorry. Totally missed that. Anyways. So, yeah, when getting, the, getting the corpser to the back, all the way back, is the easy part. It's getting it, it's getting her, him, her, I don't, I, I don't know the gender of all these locusts. Um, getting them to try and smash those clamps right there without trouble. I'm telling you, it's quite difficult. One other thing, guys, I think I'm gonna try to make this stream a little bit longer for part six this time around because part five is relatively cut short yesterday because I had to go get my hair cut and now my hair is much shorter, much more manageable. Thank goodness, because the other day it was looking uh, hot. So now it's back and forth again. And now my head can breathe, so maybe even get a little bit of sun too. Wear a lot of hats this summer. Like I said, this is the easy part, you know, it's like three shots to the belly and it's running like hell for cover, so. Careful not, get, not to get caught up, you know, all the way back here, so. Gotta hit the rest of this. Bing. Yes, please. And sometimes you can just stand back and it'll smash the clamp on its own. It'll just get pissed and just say, oh, I'm gonna hit the... I'm just gonna back up a little bit here. They land at once. No, nope, thank goodness. Oh, they are land at once. Okay, my bad, guys. Girls, whoever's watching, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. But that's not going to be possible, so I really appreciate you guys' support, honestly. And of course, if there's anything else I can do for you guys in terms of content, if there's anything you want me to teach, uh, let me know. I'm a man of many different uh, side hustles and, thing and hobbies, so, um, for example, I was thinking about doing a video about how to source, whoops, I went too far back. I'm making, I'm in the process of making some videos about how to sell and source shoes from Ross Dress for Less and other platforms as well for profit. It's actually a lot of fun. And it doesn't, it takes up some time, of course, all good things take time. But, you know, if you're more curious about that, I'd love to publish some videos about that too, so. I make videos on how to package them too as well. Even if you do the handles, those things are fun to flip for profit. If you've got a goodwill in your area, if you have um, any really uh, second-hand stores, that's all those kinds of things. There's, there's a lot of good stuff in there, so. Definitely willing to share that knowledge if you guys would like. Like 
How many more days? We're seven days away from it to two, and I, you know, I know I've been talking about just about every day in the stream. I just can't contain the excitement. I think I have to watch it chapter one later on just to help fuel some of the excitement that I've got going on, or maybe help fuel it. I guess I could say. I think helping fuel it is a little bit better of a term than killing the excitement, because we don't want to kill any excitement here. This is all about having fun. So. And if you're new to the channel, thanks so much for stopping by. Welcome to Hippo Nation. I appreciate you very much for even stopping and taking a look. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. We're all about having fun here, so as long as you guys are having a good time, that's really all that matters. And if you're learning something too, um, that always helps, so. I think we're just pissing yeah. it off! Yep, see, there you go. There's a lot less room to work with at this point. I'm just looking up. Yep, there you go. Looking up top to seeing if there's uh Hope they're not coming up behind us. It's a, definitely a possibility to Yep, figured as much. Oh boy. See I try to keep moving here now too because the wretches do a really good job at keeping up with you. Yeah, I see like just like right there. They do such a good job at keeping up with you, it's honestly astounding. And if I'm being real here, Dom is not going to do too much to really help you. Um, he just isn't. Having a hard time. See, look, I mean, Dom's getting downed right away, too. I might just try to do a turn and shoot tactic. Yeah. And you can only sprint for so long. Yeah, that that's tough. Yeah, so, just something to keep in mind. Um, I'm not a big fan of using the Lancer, really, to take down wretches, just because of the fact that... It takes a ton of Lancer shots, it takes maybe one or two shots with the Boltock pistol. So you can take out three to six wretches with the Boltock uh, clip, so... The long shot, I uh, don't even get me started on using that for wretches. It's not ideal. Um, you can also melee them. Good old melee right to the jaw. Um, they'll be down, so... The only thing that stinks about that is they explode. So, it, it's kind of a pro and con thing. If you hit a wretch down, falls back, explodes, it could take out a couple of other wretches with it, or it could take you out if you don't move quickly enough. So that's something to keep in mind. You know, there's trade-offs just like everything else. That's why I mentioned in my FIFA stream too. Um, there's trade-offs to those kinds of things. So it's just about picking your battles and choosing everything as wisely as you can. And if you don't, if you try something one way and it doesn't work, yeah, just try it another way and you'll be you'll be good to go. It's all about experimenting, finding out what works for you. So what, 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 what might work for me and I might not work for you, you know? It's all about finding what you're really good at and what, uh, what things you do to kind of help fuel your fire a little bit. Let's match one map. Let's see if I can get this to, uh... Yeah, there we go. There's Dom, I'm telling you. They're shocking around. I guess I should really pay more attention to see if there's a... But, you know, let's try the Lancer here. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see if we can try the Lancer here. Maybe make up some ground and... I'm refilling my clip every time, you best believe. I think we're the good just news is all the wretches are bottlenecks up there. You can see them at all times. They're not going to crawl up through the pipes and drop down right to you. That's just not how they roll. So you know, we're just going to wait. Just going to wait. Some more waiting. For those of you who are newer to Gears of War, if this is like the first time you've ever seen it. this franchise, um, all this That's yellow it. glowing stuff, uh, it's all gasoline. They call it emulsion, but it, it, it just, it's synonymous with gasoline. I guess they are kind of crawling up on the pipes. I wasn't expecting that. Just want to make sure there's none in front of us. No, no, Dom, you tell me, man. I'm just going to keep my eye. I think I'm just going to wait a couple more seconds here to see if there's any more wretches hanging out. Like I said, these things are going to be the biggest pain in your ass. I'm telling you, they're always that way. This, I think we found a good strategy to deal with them in this particular case. We just kind of sit here and wait for them to crawl up on the pipes or crawl up on that little uh, lift right there. See, the, the, the corpse is just hurting itself here. I don't know if Dom had anything to do with it. See, like, there it goes. Oh, okay. That's what I get for looking away for a couple seconds there. Where are they coming from? They're coming from up there? Nah. Nah, oh, okay, good. look up here real quick. Whoops, gotta be quicker. Okay, maybe the Lancer isn't such a bad way to deal with the wretches. 
I couldn't wait too long for them to come on either. Oh my lord, okay. Go back. How many more of these motherfuckers are coming through here? Yikes. Oh yeah, just the uh, forewarning too for those of you who know that. Now I swear quite a bit. Um, if you guys don't like that, let me know. I can always try and uh, put it down. Yikes. Because it's stuff that happens like that that drives me nuts, of course, but I know you all feel the same way. So if you want me to tone it down a little bit, just let me know. I'd be happy to do so. Um, I always try to limit it to some extent, but, you know, everybody's got their own method of expression, so... For those of you who have played the 2006 version of this game and the, uh... And now the remastered version. What do you think about the remastered version? I think it was the bee's knees. I think it was the, the best. Honestly. Um, I think what, what really stands out to me is, of course, improve, improve uh, graphics. I want to stress that the gameplay doesn't really change all that much in the 2006 version and this version. A lot of the gameplay mechanics are the same. So, like, for example, moving through cover isn't really too fluid. It's somewhat fluid, but not like, not like it was in Gears of War 4. Not at all. Um, that's just a byproduct of, you know, old technology. I think they want to keep that same feel. But they also wanted to capture some of the the nuances of the newer technology that's available to them, so... I'm just gonna stay in here. Come on, come on. Alright, I'm gonna get out of the way. Like I said, if I can't deal with these red team members, all hope is basically lost, so... I can't count on Dom to deal with them either, so... Because if, if Dom gets down, we're, we're kinda out of luck here. Jesus, man, these red have some... Whoa, what? Okay, well that, that works. Sun's coming up soon. Let's move. So yes, that's just kind of what you saw there. I didn't even really do anything to the corpse there. It just kind of laid its own bed there where it just kept clawing at those smashable clamps and it just kind of fell into all the fuel or emulsion as they call it in Gears of War. So, um, like how I mentioned earlier, sometimes you just get lucky where they just keep smashing those clamps and that happens. So, that might be a good strategy too. Just kind of hang tight. Give it a few chances. You never know what could happen. That's a little bit of luck there though. Um, don't think we'll have luck like that every time, but hey, we'll take it, right? So, now we move on. Now we gotta get this resonator implanted so we can, uh, map the tunnels and destroy the locust home. Hooray, hooray, right? By applause? I, I think so. I gotta keep looking around for a few cog tags. I really should look in and see how many I've actually picked up. Um, the dead giveaway is the Crimson Omen. You'll probably see it as I start to notice it. I'll point it out to you all. Just so you're not all left in the dark. But when you see that Crimson Omen, the gear oh. symbol, that's when you know a cog takes around. Hey Marcus. How much do you think all that emulsion's worth? I don't think I can count that high. Interesting, right? The torque bow. Okay. Um, just for uh nuance sake. The torque bow is a weapon we get introduced to in this game, besides the lancer, the hammer burst, the bulldog pistol, the snub pistol, the frag grenade, the after shotgun, the long shot rifle. Um, we now have the torque bow. What the torque bow is, I'm not going to use it because of the fact that it's a very high stakes, high reward weapon. So what you do is, you aim it, you hold down the right trigger, all this will line up. Once you have that full charge where that uh, thing gets highlighted, you release the right trigger, it sticks to the enemy, and it's basically an instant kill if you can stick it to the enemy. In keyword, if you can stick it to the enemy. Um, doesn't always work out that way, so if you miss, you're, you, you know, 
five rounds and you're done. So I'm not going to use it. I like using it, just not in the very first Gears of War. It just doesn't do it for me. Um, if you play competitive multiplayer, it is a blessing. It's the greatest thing ever if you're really good at using it. So if you're good at it and you like it, go ahead and use it. I'm not going to in this particular case. Unless I get up here and I find I'm getting my balls kicked in, then I will switch it out and continue. So, oh, look at that. Finally, there it is. Okay, here's a plan. Dom, we're going straight in. Cole, Baird, you two flank right and provide support. Above all, protect that resonator. You got it? Got it. You got it. Okay. Wow, we're really cruising through Act 3 here. This is a really fast act. So, I'm um, spoiler alert. If you want to get through really quickly on this side, because that side's just not working out, you can. Just run through. If you want to attack with four of them instead of two, I actually highly recommend doing that instead, just because of the fact that if you just try going, you know, they take one way, you take the other, it, it becomes a lot more of a pain in the butt than it's worth. Um, for just nuance sake, like I said earlier, we'll just go ahead and take the path we're supposed to. If it doesn't work out the first time, we'll try the other way. So, let's keep it going here. That sound. It's just the wind. Yeah, right. When's the last time the wind said hostiles to you? Uh, those aren't drones. Oh, shit. Looks like they upgraded. They're called Theron Guards. You think they know what we're doing? Well, we're not here to sell cookies. So they know something's up. Let's clear that station. Alright, so bad guys are coming. Um, two points I want to make about that. First point being, I love how the Gears of War franchise always puts in humor between Cole, Bear, Dom, and Marcus in order to not take itself too seriously. I think I'm glad that they put in a lot of humor in order to just lighten the mood up just a little bit because this is a really terrible situation they're in. I mean, they're fighting monsters that came from underground to destroy the world and all the families that they love. So the fact that they can still find some solace in each other is just really refreshing. It helps kind of... Uh, get their characters a little bit of development as well, so um, really appreciate that aspect of the Gears of War franchise. But another thing too is um, a little bit more lore in this case. The Theron Guards, this is the first introduction you really get to them. They're just basically locust super soldiers. They all use um, torque bows. If they're not using torque bows, I guarantee you they'll probably have a Lancer. Because hammer bursts are for peasants, right? Nah, just kidding. Whoa, I thought they just blow themselves. The reason I'm like being really cautious here is because like I said, if they get that hit on you with a torque bow, all bets are off. And even if you're in the vicinity of the explosion, you're dead. Like, it's just one shot, that's it. And this is another point in the game too, where if you look, there's bear. I see even paired that fuck the rules, I'm coming and helping you guys. Had to move out of the way there before I got got. Just waiting for this particular locust to speak out a little bit here. Okay. There we go, got him. Yeah, I'm telling you, the long shot is probably, if you're looking for a secondary weapon, you, you in, in Gears of War, or at least Gears of War Ultimate Edition, or Gears 1, use use the long shot. Don't use the nasty shotgun. Don't use the torque. It's just not going to be as much help to you as the long shot's going to be. There's way more situations in this game that call for the long shot than the shotgun or the, uh, the torque bow. There just is. And plus, we just got introduced to the torque bow about halfway through the game, so... What, what, what does that tell you, right? Man, Baird, okay, it's really strange. Baird and Cole kick some serious ass as uh, AI intelligence players. Dom is like the complete opposite. It just drives me nuts. Like, look at him, just dawdling. He's kind of like, yeah, fuck it, you know, whatever. Are they really kicking that much butt that the station's like cleared? I'm having doubts, but... Man, Baird is really going to town. You gotta be careful. Had a locust, oh yeah. Got him. Don't want them to get too close either. Yeah, see Dom just look at me like, hey bro. What's happening, kid? Alright, I wanna look around here for cog tag. I think you can actually... Yeah, there's ammo in there. See? Look at the fun stuff you find around hanging out in boxes when you have a look at you. That's down, dark, oh yeah, that's what it is. 
Oh, that's too bad, that yup. There she goes, guys. And now we gotta start all the way back by where they first get introduced to the Theron God. But no matter. No big deal. Um, that's just an example of what I was talking about just a few minutes ago. So be on the lookout for that. Yep, here we go. Bring a stick to this left path here. That went a little bit better than I thought it was going to, so... What the hell's that sound? It's just the wind. Yeah, right. When's the last time the wind said, hostiles to you? Show me that. Uh, those aren't drones. Oh, shit. Looks like they upgraded. They're called Theron Guards. You think they know what we're doing? That's where you're Let's supposed clear to come that in, No, nope, okay, he, he, he left out his joke. He, he didn't want to tell the joke this time. Bummer, okay. That's great. Alright, let's see. Yeah, if you look at that flash of light. Yeah, see, I was just in the blast of saying I even get hit and I almost got god. I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna throw a grenade in there. I don't even know if it's gonna make it. Okay, trust me, it was the wall. Old Dom took care of that already, so while Dom makes a program on me, are you kidding me? Who is that guy? Dude, oh, when yeah. there's helmets, it's really hard to headshot if they're on guard. It is very difficult. Especially when they're moving like that, too. Either that or I have no skill to launch shot. Very, very, both are very high possibilities. Oh, that's a fan. Lancer. They're in guard with the Lancer. Nice. Tanya, they're only gonna use the, long, the, the torque ball or the Lancer. Nothing else. Don't know why that is. I think it's, they're skilled soldiers, so they know how to use the chainsaw. Don't know if that's part of it or what, but it's an interesting style choice. I guess, you know, gears only really use, uh, only use Lancers too, but that's like, it's like, you know, their uh, military grade weapon of choice, really, so. Cole and Bear don't look like they're doing nearly as as much as they were earlier, which is fine, you know. That's what we're here for. Just gonna run all the way to the back. Some of these parent guys will surprise you. Sometimes they'll just run up to you. It's like, whoa, dude, slow your roll. Like, just kind of trying to keep my eyes open. Because I don't want to turn around and, oh, shit, you know, there's a parent guard aiming at me with a torque bow. Alright, let's open this up for some ammo. Actually, no, I won't quite. No, yeah, yeah okay, sorry. I keep changing my mind, guys. We're gonna open it up. Just for the long shot ammo. Ooh, baby, I was almost blown away. So I want to take care of this guy like right away because if he gets any closer, that's gonna be that. He doesn't need much room to really see. Look at him; he's just charging at us. So I'm just gonna do one of these numbers. Where is he? Whoa! Well done, took care of that. Yeah, me too, Dom. I'll use you as a bullet shield. Thank you. I'm telling you, man, they'll just, they'll just charge you. They don't care. They're about it. I used to expect mama didn't raise no bitch, right? <laughs> so I tell my mom, my wonderful mom, I'm like, don't worry, mom, I'll do it. Mama didn't raise no bitch. Okay, let's see, there's one shot. Whoops. Nice! There we go. Plus in the States, it's going to be Labor Day this weekend, guys. So have a great Labor Day weekend for those of you who are viewing from the States. If you guys have fun and get to spend some time with fans, get a day off and you get to hang out, man. Nothing wrong with that either. Hence the name Labor Day, right? So. Alright, this is where things got started to get a little sketchy. Now we start rushing the enemy. I don't hear Cole and Bear really firing that much, so I'm just gonna kinda tread softly. You know how this works. I mean, as you progress, enemies are gonna start to spawn. It's, it's just, that's how it that's how it gets triggered. Just gonna hold it here. Oh yeah, small tip. If you're in cover and you can stand or kneel, if you click the left thumbstick. It'll trigger that process. Saw an enemy over there somewhere. Oh. Grenadier. Don't want to get too close to them either. For obvious reasons. Because they have grenades. And they have a uh, natural shotgun, so... Engage! 
Hell yeah, brother. Just so I don't want them standing there and just looking at each other. Second that locust even steps, bro, it's over. No, that's okay. Please don't fire me, please don't fire. Okay, good. Nah, I see. Nice. Sam's gonna go for that. That guy right there too. Second he steps, bro, it's over. Come here. <laughs> the most defeating feeling ever is when you get when you get uh, an active reload wrong. I'm telling you, it just sucks. But when you nail down the locust, no better feelings. They're all got him. See, they had a lan Did they have a lancer too? No, that must have been from the Theron guard from earlier. Wow, that's like yeah, wow. Toes, you think? I agree, Dom. Oh boy, okay, I was actually wrong about them just only using Lancers and uh, Turquoise. They apparently like their shotguns too, so... Mental note, keep that in mind if you're getting really close to them, but we'll just kind of keep at bay then. Okay, Torquo now. I want to be really careful here. Because I'm telling you, they won't miss. They will not miss if you are in the way... Oh, I have to get grenade on the ground. Just making... Engage! It's gonna remind them to keep attacking. Don't mind if I finally get the grenade here. Nice okay, job. they cleared out the last okay, round. Time to go home. Baird, you set up the resonator. Get that elevator back online. Alright guys, upstairs we go. Let me just look around for cog tag just one more time. Huh, that looks familiar. Can I look all the way up? Oh, come on, where are you? Is there an opening in the sky? Okay, so, I don't really know what that artifact was, the one I just thought that you guys saw. But, if you look in part one of this playthrough series, it's that same artifact, because Anthony Carmine throws it down into a pit. Um, check it out if you're curious of what I'm talking about. If any of you know anything about it, drop some info in the comments below, because I'm curious, I don't really know what it is. And I, in all my years of playing Gears, I've never really found out, so... Um, let me know, I'm curious. And as always, like I said, guys, if there's any content that you want to see that uh, I haven't provided yet, please let me know. I'd be happy to share some of my uh, knowledge, or just if you want to have, if you want to see me play through other games too. Like I've got Gears 2, Gears of War 3, Gears of War Judgment is a really fun one because you learn, you kind of explore a different avenue of Gears of War. That's the one where you explore more Baird and Cole's younger military life. Back when Baird was a lieutenant, he was a pretty high-ranking officer, actually. Not a high-ranking officer, but a lieutenant. So he's He's up there, to some degree, so... If you want me to play through those, let me know. I also have Gears of War 4, I've played through that twice. Excellent, ton of fun, of course. Gears 5 is going to come out and it's going to crush it, and I can't wait for it, so it'll be a lot of fun as well. We gotta get to that elevator. Sorry, I'm kind of dawdling because I'm looking around for an extra cog tag, but I don't think there's any around, so... We'll just call the elevator here. Oh, thank goodness, we don't have to fight any more bad guys for just a couple seconds. Alright, sit back and enjoy the cutscene, guys. I'll take my mouth for a few minutes. Bear, let's go! Control, this is Delta. We're clear. Resonator has been detonated. Did it, Marcus. Stand by. King Ravens are en route. So we going back to base? I guess so. Good, cause <laughs> I'm done. Food, man. Hot food. All day long. What do you mean, it didn't work? Bear, let's 
Let's go! Shut up and look at it. Look, those are locust tunnels, Phoenix. Right. I know. It popped on and I hacked in. The files. Phoenix, report! Are you seeing this? Affirmative. And Private Baird is correct. That Geobot is showing more than the resonator. Oh, this is bullshit. Give me a zero point on that data. Sir. Well, it came from East Barricade Academy, from his father's house, specifically. Whose father? Sergeant Phoenix, sir. You think you can still find your way back home, Phoenix? Yes, sir. Reroute those choppers, Lieutenant. They're taking Delta to EBA. Immediately! Not after that cutscene, guys. I actually have. So our question was answered about that uh, that artifact I was referring to earlier when we were in the Locust Tunnels. I must have just missed it on my first playthrough. But yeah, that's just a little technology I believe that the Locusts use to log data about themselves, including the where all their tunnels are. So kind of interesting that they're advanced to that advanced to do that. Um, unless I'm missing something else, there might be more info into that as well. But I guess we will find out. Another thing too is uh, what was the other thing I was thinking of? I can't remember. Wow, I've lost my train of thought. Okay, I must be losing my mind. If it comes to me, I'll let you all know, but... There's something about the resonator. Not mapping. And, oh, yeah, okay, now, that, that's one thing I wanted to clarify, too. So, um, what happened there was, the original plan was, at the very beginning of the game, when you are with the squad and you still have Lieutenant Kim, uh, watch my previous playthroughs for more info about that as well, if you're curious to see the rest of the playthrough went. Um, Incoming the plan was Colonel Hoffman, the guy in the... Wow, I got exploded by a grenade. Um, the original plan by Colonel Hoffman was uh, you guys take that device that was on Cole's back most of the time, which was quote-unquote called the Resonator. The thing was supposed to basically blow up all the locust tunnels and end the war. Um, so it was kind of a big deal. Or at least put a big uh, W for the cog gears into the war. But uh, as you can see, it did nothing more but the ground and maybe destroy the emulsion factory, maybe. But that that's really it. So um now that they now that they've discovered more of that tunneling data, now they want to use it to their advantage and 
they're figuring out that a lot of that data is actually coming from Marcus being in his house. I'll leave it at that because of the fact that there's going to be a lot more information that you'll uncover when we get to his house and throughout the game, so I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to give out too many spoilers, so... Another thing is, too, guys, if you were interested in uh, FIFA or others, or some, checking out something different within the channel, um, I also stream FIFA pretty regularly, Division Rivals, I have a Road to Division 1 series that I'm working on currently. We're in Division 4 and we're making our way to Division 3 currently, so that's actually going pretty well, so... For all of you who have been watching that, thank you so much for your support, and have been just visiting the channel, I appreciate you guys a lot for giving me your time and your attention, it really means a lot to me and I can't thank you enough for that, so if there's anything I can do for you all, please just let me know. Happy to help in any way that I can. Um, another series I've, that's kind of taken a backseat, a story time. That's mainly got to do with uh, stories within the world of football. I talk about Ronaldinho's mind game classic with Andres Iniesta and the rest of the Barcelona team that he utilized in order to win El Clasico. And I talk about how Leicester City had 5,000 to 1 odds to win the Premier League in the 2015 2016 season and how they overcame those and how in the heck they got 5,001 odds. With those odds, you can see the different things that were more likely according to Vegas. Wow. According to uh, various Vegas and sports betting sites. Like for example, uh, Kim Kardashian becoming the president, Hugh Hefner admitting that he was a virgin. Those are all things that were more likely to happen Incoming. in terms of gambling you odds this than my team winning the out. Premier League title. So that was just kind of an interesting uh, take on that, but there's more info in the story time series. Check nice. that out if you've got a moment. Or if you guys don't like the story time series, let me know and I'll, I'll stop making those. I'm, I'm okay with uh, candid feedback as well, or things that aren't exactly entertaining or aren't going good, so... Yeah, let me know, guys. Well, that focus has an arm. Or if you just want to hop on and play a game with people, I'm willing, I'm more than happy to just always meet new opponents, always meet new people and play, so... Right, me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Game and clutch for Dom there. Yeah, Dom, God. Okay, I can only help Dom so much. Right. There we go. Alright. Focus got a little stuck from a computer glitch. Even the drones are using Lancers now. Kind of strange. I'm gonna get down before I get caught. Yeah, the Lancers are... I mean, the drones are... Even using a lance now, which is a little surprising. Really don't want this grenadier. That's one enemy you really don't want close to you is uh, a grenadier for multiple reasons. According to this, Dom is down. As you can clearly see, he is standing. Weird, right? Just a small bug. Some of some of the bugs you see are really hilarious. Like there was one yesterday that worked out in our favor. We were on a path. So I'm just making sure that sniper isn't shooting me. There's a sniper shooting at me. I'll out of the way. There was, some, there was a wretch that was coming after me when I was on this path, and it got stuck in a glitch. It just stopped on top of a rock and just kind of stood there. It's kind of cool. Made my life a little bit easier, I can tell you that much. So he gets for stepping on my turf, man. Gets got. I gotta be careful not to get got here. Oh, yup. Didn't realize there was locusts on all sides there, so I gotta be a little bit more careful. That's so why I don't really like venturing out too much, and I'm telling you, it's so weird. Barrett and Cole really hold their own as CPU, AI, intelligent uh, teammates. Dom just, oh, he just doesn't at all, and it's just, oh, it's a bird, Move man. Out. Makes even worse because he's Marcus' best friend, so he basically uh, say, hey, best friend, you fucking fight, but, you know, Incoming I'm here for you. <laughs> I really gotta take out that sniper, I'm gonna see if I can find him. There, just big head out of the way. Dang it, there he is. Rock and low. <sighs> there it is, Yahtzee! Way cool, right? Okay, hopefully everybody got it. Everybody regroup a little bit here. I don't want anybody going out too far like they did last time and just get destroyed. Oh, man. Yeah, not right. Wow, man, I'm getting destroyed. I remember this being one of the more difficult parts of the campaign here, so got our work cut out for us. But yeah, see, in that case, if I told him to regroup, at least uh, Cole and Dom are at least relatively close so I can revive them and not have to run a mile in order to go get them and then put myself in danger. Oh, yeah. There's no getting me back up. I can get them up. There's no getting me back up. My lord, nice. 
the second. No, no, duck. Oh dear, okay. I really have no option to do right now. Just don't know who to click on, you know? That's who they're there. Who do you click on? Whose head are you gonna take off first? Well, apparently Bear is getting in my way, but... Who is that? Dom, big, big surprise. Well... Like this is gonna come in handy. Kabang! Freak! There goes a leg. Hey, yeah. Uh. I'll grab Baird. Oh, good. Get, no, okay. Baird got himself. I'm cool with that, too. Man, you guys... You guys don't know what... What regroup means. Jeez. Fall in! I there can't we go. Yes, you can. You're right here. You're, you're right next to me. Dom here too. Dom hiding back there. He probably is, if I'm being honest. Don't want to go back there either, because locust. But snipers. Is the sniper? Yeah, I grab the sniper first. Yeah. Where? Apparently nowhere. Yes, we're okay. Sweet. See now, now Baird's all the way over there, and now I can't really go get him and take everybody else out. So he's gonna wait. Come on, Grenadier, just poke your head out. <sighs> Gotta be careful. Whoops. You know, maybe taking out the sniper first might be a little bit more advantageous. I hear a fair on guard. I think you guys heard that too. Come on, just take that out for me. See ya. Yep, a couple more for us. We're just gonna do one of these. Not very nice. Oh boy, we're all screwed, aren't we? They got one at a time at this point. I really gotta go get Baird, though. Where's Cole? Oh yeah, come and get me. Come on. They're on guard with the... Okay, really quickly. Ain't enough freaks to stop this man! Oh, gotta get out of the way. I gotta go get there at some time. Okay. Oh, fine. Someone went and got there. Jeez. Incoming! Where? Pick it up! Oh boy. Where at? Right. Oh, okay. Thanks, Paul. Honestly, I think an effective strategy for boomers either hit them long or actually get right next to them because they're gonna stop shooting at you and they're just gonna quad you. So, not a bad strategy at all. Just get up close and personal with them a shot with a shotgun. Or you can just, you know, keep them at bay with a long shot like I'm doing. I think that tactic is a little, my tactic right here is a little bit more effective. Plus you get a satisfying crunch of, you know, or just head just flying off. See ya. See ya just like that. Push. Okay. Not bad. Uh, well, I think it's better him hang out here than venturing off everywhere else that he can possibly imagine and conceive, so. Alright, let's head around for cog tags while we're here. Um, this seems like a really likely place to have those, so we'll have a look-see. Not seeing much. Back here, maybe. I'm gonna collect some ammo, too. I'm getting a little low for sniper rifle ammo. Shotgun. Long shot, that's nice. Not too much. In. There's a boom shot. I'm not going to take it just because I know it's coming ahead of us. Um, an extra shotgun actually I had might help us a little bit, but I don't want to get rid of the long shot because we're going to need the long shot after that. So we'll stick with uh, the bolt talk to take out the up close and personal enemies. Could use some grenades, not even going to lie. Um, it's really interesting. Hope with the gear symbol. I didn't even notice that on my first playthrough. Kind of cool, right? We'll look in some areas here. I don't see a Crimson Omen around anywhere, so I think we actually might be okay. I'm gonna keep checking though. I'm gonna keep checking just in case. Don't wanna mess out, that'd be a bummer. I'll grab that ammo over there too in a second. 
Another long shot, okay, cool. Oh, oh yeah, we have max ammo for that. And grenades. One of the perks of looking around, guys. Can I open this door? Okay, you know, I'm just gonna try and experiment here. That's weird, because usually that means you can open that door. The door being that color in that specific way. Strange, right? It must just be a, a spawn point for Locust, but... Just making sure I'm not missing anything. We'll go to the other side of this door real quick. Alright, nothing here. Okay, we'll move on then. Um, is there another Conjuring coming out soon? I know we were talking about uh, horror movies a little bit earlier, so I kind of want to jump back up on that topic. Right now, it seems like the Conjuring universe... Oh, sorry, cutscene. I'll continue Order. after this cutscene. Control, this is Delta. Confirming 6-4 report. First drop zone aborted. We are at East Barricade. I repeat, East Barricade. Over. Copy that, Delta. Be advised, there are survivors at 2-5's crash site. Then that's our first stop. What's the situation on the ground? You have two options, Delta. You can take the street, or move through those buildings ahead of you. Sorry guys, I just had to respond to a text real quick. Um, okay, so in this particular case, I always tell you, go with the high ground when you have to choose a path because it'll just help you so much more. It's a good rule of thumb. In this case, the high ground is going to be the left path instead of the right, so we're going to go ahead and choose the left we'll path. take both. Baird, you're with me. Cole, Dom, take the street. We'll cover you. Scared me. Okay. What's that? Oh, another painting like we saw earlier uh, on in the game. Don't know. I don't know who all those people are. I'm curious to find out though. So maybe I'll look into that sometime later. Yes, yeah, high ground. You know what I'm saying? Only gotta deal with a couple enemies. It's really nice. Long shot. Uh, yeah. Speaking my language. But be careful because these things, these guys can come at you too. So. Gotta hold your ground here. Yikes. Some of this is luck, I'm telling you. Alright guys, I gotta respond to another text here, sorry. So I'm just gonna let this play out for a second. Oh yeah. Now that was a reason to split up. Okay, sorry. Anyways, um, so uh, like I was kind of talking about a little bit earlier, um, right now it's just like in terms of, I'm a big fan of movies, horror movies in particular, have seemed to be my uh, go-to lately, but it seems like the, uh, the horror movie landscape right now is being dominated or held up by the Conjuring universe. Um, Hammer of Dawn. Hammer of Dawn. Well. Whoa! I turn around for a second. At least, the, at least these aren't lambent this time around. Cause those are real pain in the ass to deal with. This guy, we're gonna have some fun here. There you go, boom, boom. See ya. So now we can use the hammer at dawn here. Where'd it go? Sweet. 
Oh, duh. Alright, we're gonna use it. We're gonna use it to our advantage. Let me tell you. Kaboom! Yeah, it seems like the horror movie franchise and the horror movie landscape is just upheld by the Conjuring universe at this point with uh, Annabelle and the story of Ed and Lorraine Warren, which are really entertaining. If you haven't seen them yet, I recommend. So much fun to watch, honestly. They're terrifying too. Some of the movies are quite, quite scary, so. I haven't seen them yet. Highly recommend. Ooh, Merton's Hole. You know what this means. Let's see it again. Oh! That's what happens when you take it off the ball for a second, right, guys? Okay, let's keep it going. Another more, uh, cog propaganda, if you will. Now we're uh, trying us all the way back here. Yeah, they are. Stuart faces. My turn, come here. So that's the good thing about them using a torque ball. They have no defense against you, so... Use it to your advantage. Marcus, we could use Don't really some need support. any ammo there. Did you see that? I, I wish I did, Cole. I really wish I did. I know you can't bear it. I know, neither can I. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them deal with it. What's up, little boy? What's up, little boy? Alright, there we go. Okay. Alright, Bear. Do you, dude. I thought. I'm just gonna keep running through until I clear everybody out, because now I can finally use the, uh. The whatchamacallit, the hammer of dawn. Yep, see, I hear him now. Man. For some reason, these wretches are especially tough today. Rock and roll. Especially, especially against a bolt arc pistol, like. I hear you somewhere, where are you? I'm literally just running around the whole building at this point. Could use a hammer. I'm just trying to clear up the whole area before I uh, start to engage because otherwise it gets to be a pain in the butt to really do this. Oh, I thought that was a locust. Woo! I had to hold my breath there for just a couple seconds. Let's just make sure there's nothing back here. I know I'm kind of lollygagging here, but really when it comes to these nemesis and focus, you really do want to take your time. You really do. Um, Playing on insane difficulty is by no means easy, so if you develop a strategy and it works for you, by all means, just go for it. Because otherwise you'll drive yourself nuts and it'll take you forever to get through these kinds of things, so... I recommend patience, that's one piece of advice I can give for all of you who are um, into this kind of thing, so... Oh, let me get the drop on this. Okay, more wretched through this. Oh, that takes care of that problem. I'm gonna actually see if I can move over a little bit, see if I can get a grenade into there. Cause I'm telling you, once you close up those emergence holes, your life becomes a lot easier. Tenfold. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. Loving it. See ya. Don't know if this means anything for wretches coming up here, but at least we have a solid plan against this far, so. Look at Dom, he's just having a play fight. Just look at him here. He's having a great time. Oh, yeah. Time's over. Man, that's so mysterious. I wonder if there's a bug in the software for my game in particular, because this is strange, man, let me tell you. This is why taking the high ground is so much better, guys. We beat Dom and... We beat Dom and Cole right now. He's kind of huddled over there in the corner waiting to get killed while... Very nice day home. Wait. Baird must be doing okay because he ain't he ain't bitching yet. Did you? He's help? Nah, he's good. One move. Actually, that's where I should probably have to probably move over a little bit to get a better target. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see why. Nope. 
I'll tell you, those helmets will not come off your head. Anybody see that? I probably saw three shots come through that window, but... Woohoo! Wow, bitch, you saved my ass. These bits the other way around, right? <laughs> see ya! Man, see, that's why long shot's so much fun, guys. It's phenomenal. Guys, girls, who's ever watching. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching, sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Night, Dom. We're almost there. As long as you guys are having fun, that's all that matters, and that's what we're all about here at Hippo Nation, having a great time. I'm so, hope you guys are having a good time. Oh, they're, they're there. I haven't seen any cog tags yet. If I, I actually haven't really seen any crimson and omens in a while yet either. So this, this area just must be kind of sparse for cog tags. Oh, yes. Back in time. Can you imagine being the one on the shitter for this one, and then this war breaks out. Oh my. There you go, Marcus. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> it's like, hey, honey, I'm taking a shit. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. We're in the middle of a war. Yikes, man. Big yikes. Oh. Bang. There we go. <laughs> I'm just picturing that in my mind. It's just funny. I know it's a terrible thing to think about, but oh my. It's kind of like you've ever seen Zombieland with uh, Jesse Eisenberg, uh, Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone. I can't remember who the, the little girl is, but uh... Get a target. But no. There's like a point in there where uh... <laughs> he's, he's developing a strategy for if you're taking a shit. Be on the lookout for zombies because I'm telling you they're gonna come for you. And uh the yeah, same strategy kind of applies here. Nice. <laughs> just nah, it's just so funny. He's like you don't want uh, I think in his guide and zombie land, he's like, you don't want them to get at you when you're at your most vulnerable. Literally when you're mid when you're mid boop, that's just unpleasant. In every way you can possibly pick up two guys. In every way. And I mean every way. Alright, they want us to get out onto the street here. I'm fighting it up here as much as I possibly can for now. Sounds like... I don't think there's not really too many more enemies to go through while we're up here, so... I bet if we run down, run back up, a few more will pop up. Okay, grenades Sweet. are in here. That's good. No cock tags, though. I really wonder... I really should check in into that at the end of the stream. See if there's any cock tags around. Who's shooting at me? Oh. Okay, okay. Well, he's facing me, so... Alright, well. Good thing I got a wall in front of me. Let's see if he steps again. I don't think there's anybody gonna be coming from the right. I think we got rid of all of them. Form up! On my way! Thanks, Bird. Just talking to you, man. Where is that gonna do? I hear him shooting. Where is he, though? Okay, I'm gonna run back up because of the fact that there are enemies on the ground now and they're shooting it. Oh, never mind. Dom and Cole looks like they took care of all that. I'm thinking the Grenadier backtracked and started going after Dom and Cole because they knew if they stepped to us, they're gonna be dead. So. Whoa! Move, everybody! Is that you? There? Oh, okay. That was weird. Please don't die. I'll take care of it. Better take care of him, too. Jeez. Retros ruin all the fun, man. I'm telling you, the most annoying enemy in all of Gears. Besides Tickers, you'll see... And I even think they're less annoying than Tickers. But they're more annoying than Tickers. You're toast there for a second. They're more annoying than Tickers. If you haven't seen what a Ticker is, on um, Gears of War 2, the annoying enemy that if you shoot them, and they'll, they'll, they're basically suicide bombers, if I'm going to put it... Plainly. That's what they are, they're suicide bombers. Really creepy little crawly things. They'll sprint after you at a moment's notice. And you'll be done so. Alright, let's see. Locust gunner. Thanks for the assist. Oh phew. Oh, they took care of a lot of the dirty work. Surprising.
Oh, there ain't going. There ain't no going back from that. Okay. All right. Before we shoot that propane tank and move on, let's check one more time for cog tags. Trying to be super vigilant to see if we can find them all. I think what they do, guys, is the cog tags. If you unlock them and you find them, um, they unlock really cool artwork, collectible artwork that you know you can use in game. Don't really know if you can use them as like an Xbox wallpaper or anything like that. I kind of doubt it, but I could be wrong. So, if any of you are wondering that, fact check me. Um, let me know in the comments below. Or hit me up in the Twitch uh, stream in the chat as well, if you're willing to. If not, like I said, no worries, no obligation. I'll just see if anybody knows anything. Knows anything interesting about that. Let's see, can I get up here? No, I figured not. The animations don't work like that. That'd be way too sweet. Okay, so no car takes, we'll move on. We'll shoot these propane tanks to get the gate open. Wait, is there a frag grenade? I could really use a couple. Okay, that's a shotgun, sorry. I literally just blocked over it and I wasn't even paying enough attention. Cog takes around the corner. Cog takes around the corner. No cog takes around the corner. Okay, apparently not, so we'll move on. Hey! Drop it! Now! Alright, alright, don't shoot! Shit. They're not going anywhere yet. Alright. Dom and I will go ahead, clear the way. You catch up when you can. Control, this is Delta-1. Delta-2 is caring for wounded and flagging for pickup. Is the conservatory clear? As far as I can tell, Delta-1. Then that's our route. Alright, so here we go. We're continuing it. That's just, um, the people that are just trying to kind of loot off of the Karak soldiers there, those are what they call stranded. Um, in a previous playthrough, we kind of get introduced to stranded. The stranded are essentially just civilians that, uh, aren't protected. They're out in the middle of the war with no salvage, no nothing. They have to fend for themselves. Look at that, a Crimson Omen. Alright, let's look around for a cog tag then. Let's say that's a, that's a telltale sign that there might be a cog tag around, so... There's also a possibility we already could have picked it up, so we'll proceed with caution, but... Okay. I said, strong possibility we already could have picked it up, because that's pretty noticeable. Okay. I would imagine it would be, like, right here if it was here. Okay. Must not be here. Checked all the areas. Did we check those stairs? Yeah, we checked those stairs. Okay. We'll move on then. We'll keep her moving. As Charlie Grant's the comedian likes to say, keep her moving, kid. I'll take those. Yes, yes you will. There's, I remember there being... Something here. Hammer of Dawn. Perhaps a foreshadow of things to come? I think so. Can we get in? Shit. Of course not. Jack, rip this door. Yeah, Jack, do it. You're my best friend, Jack. Thank you. Well, you know what that means. Yeah, I know what that means. Yep. Take cover. Yeah, let's see if I can find. I'm trying to predict where this hole's gonna pop up. I'm just gonna keep running. I knew it, Yahtzee. Okay, guys. Wait till it opens. Okay, we're good. Here we go. Some timer. Ah! You betcha it is. Where's the next one? Okay, come to, run back, run back, run back. Get that door open now. Oh, that's not an emergency. Well, that's a wall opening. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even have time to think before. I just went kaboom. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, you blink your eyes and oh, it's over. Oh no, 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 don't, don't, don't do this to me. Come on, just dust it in, dust it in. Oh yeah, hell yeah, brother. Got it. See, you're too late, weren't we? That's okay. Okay. Well, move down. Door open now. Control, tell me those satellites are ready. Affirmative. Well then, okay. Dom, let's drop the hammer. 
No, screw that. We're gonna handle this like uh, regular folk. Boing! Okay, there's probably two of six shots I need to land right in the dome. Or one of six. Nah, that's two of six. See, that's just me foreshadowing my own game. Oh, yeah. Three. That was close. Four. Five. Oh, I was hoping Dom was not going to get hit by that. Six, and Yahtzee. Okay, let's take care of this last locust and then we'll be good to go. Can't get a target. Do you have a favorite horror movie that uh that you'd recommend? Let me know. I'm kind of looking for something different now. Like I said, that the Conjuring universe is kind of taken over a little bit in terms of being the only movie franchise that's uh, in terms of horror movies. I'm sorry, the only horror movie franchise that's been like mildly entertaining recently. Do so you guys have any suggestions? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to see. Um, I've seen all the Conjuring movies, I think, including Annabelle. I watched the first Annabelle for the first time, like, last December. So I was a little late to the party on that one. But hey, I made it, and I saw it, so... If there's any cock tags back here, I doubt it, but... Oh, this is the emergence hole they were referring to. Okay, so it's fair. They just didn't fly out of their ass, then. Okay. Uh, ones I've seen... My... scariest one I've ever seen, it was the actually the first horror movie I ever saw was Insidious, and that freaked me out for a month. I know some people thought it was funny. I think I probably would have if I was more of a seasoned vet when it came to watching horror movies, but I was just very new to the nice. horror movie world, so I'm like, ooh. You know. Bared. Scared out of my mind. Situation's foobar here. Hostiles everywhere. We're getting the hell out. Roger that. Watch your ass. We'll see you at the house. This state just won't end. Yeah. At least in prison they gave me three aunts and a cot. Oh. Poor guy. Okay. Did not end so well for him. Quiet. Looking for more cog tags. I like I said, I haven't seen one in ages, so Well, somebody got painted. Okay. What's in here? What's in here? Oh, the Hammer of Dawn. Okay, I've seen this thing twice now, so that means we'll probably need it. So I'm just gonna kinda bite the bullet, put down the long shot, and grab the Hammer of Dawn, even though I really don't want to. If anything else, I can always come back up and get it. Hopefully, later. So, we'll see. What else is over here? I was hoping a cog tag would be kinda hiding out. This seems like a likely place for it, but apparently not, so... We'll keep her moving. Oh, another Hammer of Dawn. Jeez. Reminds me of that Queen song, Hammer to Fall, Hammer of Dawn. Not really too much of a rhyming scheme there, but just reminds me of that. How pretty. Go around for cog tags. Go through row by row. Tell you guys, probably the most tedious part of it all is there's an opening right there. Okay, no cog takes around, so we'll just kind of move on. What is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, we're 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 gonna move. I ain't no get around quietly, my man. This is okay. We're just gonna mosey on over. Gonna mosey. Uh, that surprised the hell out of me. I kind of forgot that we made it the second berserker in the game. Wild. Damn, look at them. Look at them triceps and biceps and shoulders and traps and 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 and, and, and you know in the wow in the six pack. Jesus Christ! I wish I had one like that. Wow. 
I'm just gonna keep walking here. I'm just gonna keep walking. They're all quiet and smooth, like. I'm gonna throw a rock or something, but. Okay. Yeah, everyone just dip toe in the water. We're gonna dip our toe in the water here again, just like we did a couple playthroughs ago. We're just gonna keep... We're gonna keep moving, cowpoke. Well, if you haven't... If you aren't having fun, are you here? Wow, okay, I'm shitting my pants now, guys. Well, if you have having fun, if you need a new, clean pair of shorts, now's the time. <laughs> hmm. Let's be bold. No one say a word. Dom, just stay there and be bait. That's it. Paints around the wrists. I can see why they'd want to shame these things, because letting it roam free just ain't cool. Kinda reminds me of Marcus' arm at the back of the... Yeah, right? Nah, eh, uh, maybe. Maybe that's a stretch. Alright, let's see if we can find another cog tag in here. You might be thinking I'm nuts, but... Hey, you never know where they're gonna be played, so... Gotta keep the... Keep on the lookout. I would not be surprised if it just bounced through the wall here. Well... That's what I'm right? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, there goes that. Berserker. Satellite. Affirmative. Yeah? Oh no. wait, right guys. I know we are on you. Thanks for reminding me. But I don't know. Well, it's not that strong. So I gotta keep it in the sun because otherwise we're kind of well, poor guy. Come at me, boom. Or sis. Yeah, sis, because all berserkers are girls, I think. Don't know how that works, but hey, that's just how it pans out. I like it. We'll design for this. Yes, please, just throw a tantrum. See ya! Nope, nope, dip, dip, nope, nope. Whoa, I can run through the pole, okay. I forgot about that. I move a little bit. Whoa, okay. Stop moving. Stop it. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Corpse. Just keep walking at me, I guess. Okay. Okay, it's getting a little low here. Dom is... Dom must just be hanging out, I guess. That's what happens when you sneeze, guys. Tank, your eye off the prize, basically. Who's the is open? Well, Carl is open sky in this case, that's what I want to know. Oh my jeez. Kind of okay, well I'm going back over there where there's uh, more open space, so we'll see ya. Whoa! Worth it. Seems like there's only like one of uh possibilities where we can really take care of this. Crushed by this thing either. 
there's gotta be something weird going on there. Won't stand still for more than like 10 seconds. Not even 10, like more like 5 seconds. That ought to do it. Nah, <laughs> alright. Gotta stand back perhaps a little bit. Okay, guys, we're just gonna get her to run to that wall right there. Oh, they're dumb. Is that just game again? Sort of. Pain in the ass. Come at me, sis. Please let this be it. Okay, good. We're doing great, guys. We're, we're catching up here. All of our patience. Got a ban off. Please just run at me, please. Run back over here. Come on. Run. Alright, there it is. Hey, hey, Yahtzee. Please don't tell me I need a fourth time to make this happen, because that's going to be really overkill. Okay, fourth time it is. Okay, fifth time. Fourth time, I'm sorry. Once more with feeling, probably. Alright, 20 seconds left, this is it. Wow, that was close, hey guys? Ah, yes. So How I get... about we never do that again? Yeah. That I'm with Shadam. Satellite is offline. Thank you, Anya. I don't know what we would have done if it was offline and that lo and that Berserker was still up. I, I I would assume we would just have to turn on the sprinklers and move. Let's go back and let's get our, uh, let's get our long shot. We're going to need it coming up here soon, so we'll just kind of run through. Or not. Or we can't. Okay, well, there's no oh, there's no turn back then, so we're just going to keep her moving. Tags. I don't see any, so. Alright, now we are premiering Act 4 at this point, so 4 of 6, I believe, so I think we're a little bit more than halfway through at this point. Uh, 4, 5, and 6, I think, are a little bit shorter of Act than 2 and 3. 2 and 3 are the longest ones, so, uh, we're, I think we're on pace for about 2 hours per Act, if I'm not mistaken. Not that it really matters, like I said, as long as you guys are having fun, who cares how much time it takes, so. Got the Lancer again, nice. which we really don't need. Poor guy. Let's see. I don't see any cog tags, so I think we can keep it moving. Alrighty. Yeah, but now I now I feel I I genuinely feel the need to watch it later on today, so that's what I'm gonna do guys, I'll let you know how it goes. Probably will have a really hard time uh not having nightmares, but you know, worth it. I actually wonder if we can use the hammer out here. I'm totally trying that. Can we? Yeah, of course we can. Well, I'd rather have a shotgun than no weapon at all, so I guess we're gonna grab the shotgun here. Not figured. I think if I, if I, I think if I had taken out the um the berserker in enough time, I think I could have used the hammer on, but. Yeah, this is why the long shot would just be way more beneficial. I'm trying to get at it. Can't really look much for very long. I'm just trying to clip him just a little bit. Give it a second to heal. Getting really lucky that we should be missing. Oh yeah, here we go. Dom's gonna go down any second. Okay, we'll try this angle. Actually, we're just gonna run through. Another emergence hole, you've gotta be absolutely kidding me. Okay, we're gonna throw it as far as we can. We'll go very far, doubt it. Where's the shot? 
I'm just gonna fall back a little bit. Okay, he's dead. My advice let the wretches come to you. Don't go to them. Don't make it easy on them. Just gonna move between cover to cover here. Yup, there goes Dom. Oh, okay, we're freaking out. And we choked. That's okay. We'll try once more with feeling. Sorry guys, I'm just checking my text messages once again real quick. I think somebody's somebody's like needing something from me. Can't tell yet, but we'll we'll move on just in case here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna take out the shotgun here again. Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna let Dom, let's see what Dom's gonna do here. I'm really curious. Man, Dom's just hanging out there for a second. Okay, well, Dom's not playing his hands, so I'm gonna play mine. I wanna see if we can seriously take out at least one Locust from here. Because if we can take one out, we'll save ourselves a little bit of trouble later, and we can focus on that. Uh, only one gun on us is much better than two. So. Oh, let's focus that out. Man, those those Voltak bolts just do not go where they think they're gonna go. I think I'll, maybe I'll use the lancer here. Oh yeah. Yeah, see, it's the finer things in life. Okay, you know, we're gonna spend all day doing this, so we're just gonna, just gonna be patient here. We're gonna run out. Hate that emergence. I'm just gonna get quick to it. Fire in the hole. It's not quite far enough. Let's see if I do this. Wretches. I agree, Dom. Maybe I'll try to use the Ah, that worked. Yahtzee. Let Dom occupy the fire here for a second. Do it again. Man, love the shotgun for those wretches. Again. Yeah. Yeah, just let them pour in, honestly. At this point. I won't worry about the shortcut yet. See ya. Come on. Get my bang! Hey, <laughs> it's so much fun. Man, how many more of these are gonna come on? I don't know. I guess we'll find out one more swing for the road. Thank you, Dom. Speaking of which, uh, if you guys have not seen, so going from kind of like a horror genre to like more comedy and TV kind of thing, Rick and Morty, absolutely hilarious. It's more of an adult cartoon, just so you guys know. A lot of it's really raunchy, really violent, kind of like uh, Gears of War, except it's all about comedy. It's, it's, it's a more comedic series. Um, episodes are about a half hour or so, so not too long, but oh, it's, it's entertaining as all hell. So if you haven't, haven't had a chance to check it out. Highly recommend. Just looking for a little bit of cover here. It's so funny. Rick and Morty are just iconic characters. Um, they got renewed recently for like seven more seasons. So 
They'll be sticking around for a long time, I think. Or 70 more episodes, I'm sorry. 70 more episodes, I want to be clear about that. 70 more episodes doesn't necessarily mean 7 uh, more seasons, but you think about 10 episodes this season on average, so that's what we're in for. The, the new season, I think, is coming out. The fourth season is now going to be coming out in uh, November. So right around, like, uh, if you're in the States, like Thanksgiving time. It's around what I think when it's going to premiere. So I am super jacked for it. It's going to be, it's going to be epic, to say the least. Yeah, he ain't getting back from that. <laughs> Sweet. You gotta be kidding me, and that was my last grenade. Well, I know what I'm using. I'm not even gonna let him get up out of that hole. Nah, he ain't getting through. Hell no. See, it's the beauty of the first Gears of War. The Troika never, ever, ever overheats. Ever. Alright, Dom. Thanks for the help. That it for that. Who else is? I mean, where did that come from? Ah. Makes sense, right? No, hell no. Okay, cool. Let's get over the bends. It's over here. Nothing but ammo. Fine with that. Totally fine with that. Alright. And perhaps a frag grenade, because they had one equipped. Sweet. Two of them. Four? Is Good there more? Go. Yeah, there's more. Alright. Not a bad deal, guys. Not a bad deal at all. But South Park is another good one. Family Guy has been recently getting into what in the world? Wow, that is just a bummer. Okay, checkpoint. Making good progress here. Um, but yeah, I'm, what, what other TV show series have I been watching lately? Um, Boondocks. Yeah, the Boondocks. Jeez, I haven't watched it in a while, so I can't even remember the name of it for a second there. But uh, that's another really funny one. It's a little bit older. They're actually coming out, with, also coming out with like a fifth season in not too long. It's in the works. Uh, some notable characters: uh, Regina Hall. She plays one of the uh, she plays one of the little kids, one of the little boys. Um, Riley and Huey Freeman are the two main characters, with their granddad Robert Jebediah Freeman. Really funny, really really funny stuff. Nemesis. Um, trying to remember what the what his uh what his actor's uh name is, or the actor that plays his voice. I should say cause it's an animated, it's an animated cartoon. Rick and Morty is also animated, so makes it that much more ridiculous, right? And by ridiculous, I mean absolutely hilarious. Man, all of these are just charging. Alright, we're gonna, gonna try a couple things here. Here next. See ya. <laughs> Love how one of the comes together. Alright, really gotta pull through here. Alright guys, we're coming up clutch for ourselves here, so hooray for us, right? Over the hammer for spot. Oh the cat didn't realize he was right there. Okay, that kinda that that kinda bumps me out, but that's alright. Let's give it a couple seconds here. I think after the next time I uh croak in this game guys, I think we're gonna call it for the day. I extended the stream for this part a little bit longer just to compensate for part five. Or was, yeah, I think it was part 5 being so short. Like, part 5 was like 28 minutes, so... I wanted to keep the stream going a little bit while, a little bit while longer today to kind of help alleviate some of that, so... Uh, thanks for your patience, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, 
Just unexpected things keep happening the last few days, so... I'm just gonna go nuts and just throw all of them. Hopefully Dom won't be such a bummer. There we go. There's one. And I'm gonna be aggressive here. I'm just gonna charge at him. Or charge around them, I should say. I ain't winning this fight. There we go. Somebody's gotta tuck yourself down in order to pick yourself back up again, know what I'm saying? Thought somebody was hiding up there. But no, they came back down. Any card dig? Well, now we know, so... Really no good cover spots. See ya! So violent. Love it. Like I said, it's part of what makes the Gears franchise the Gears franchise. You know, they like to err on the side of, uh... Really dramatic, really violent movements with a lot of blood, a lot of gore. Hey, it, 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 makes, it makes it wildly interesting, I'll tell you that much. Move. Hey, move. Nope, didn't think so. Move. There we go. Where'd they come from? Oh, they're jumping out. Oh, okay, they're jumping down. Let's see that one. This a hammer burst, so we won't worry too much there. Nice. Oh, there's Dom. Oh, Dom took care of that. Okay. Okay, Dom. <laughs> they never seen that, do they? Fuck it up, Dom. Fuck it up. Don't know how you're gonna get a good shooting angle there, guy, but... Oh, man. Oops. Are you kidding me? Where? Oh. There. Where? There. I don't want to stand up too much, because... I can stand up, you can fire that missile right at me, just like they did before Dom. We're gonna keep doing this until it just finally croaks. Might take a few clips, but you know, we got time, right? I agree, Marcus. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, okay. <laughs> there it is. That it? Usually hear that guitar riff, I haven't heard that guitar riff in like, seems like forever, so I'm gonna assume we're still in danger. Oh yeah, we're definitely still in danger, that's for damn sure. Okay. Have a look at you. No cock tags, no crimson omens. Oh, look at this guy. Let's grab another grenade. Man, that cedar got crushed Sweet. by an entire building. Go team, right? Huh. Still alive? That was weird, right? You guys heard that? Not the only one who heard that? Let's throw something at it. Well, okay, dead. Dead, deader than dead, dead. Dead, died, dead. Anything else in here? I think that door closed because we ran through it from the left. Okay. We're gonna fix that problem. Well, can't really fix that problem if, you know, you don't get it on target. We're gonna do any reason. Yeah, I ain't playing that. I don't know you're here. Oh, more Lance for ammo. Okay, I thought it was gonna be a cog take. I've never been in this room before. I never even noticed that, so that was kind of strange. But hey, found a new spot, so that's kind of cool. I think we gotta move through this area to get to a new, uh, new place. No cog takes, no nothing, so we'll just keep, keep her moving. Shit. Well, they know we're coming, so... Knock, knock. Alright, this is probably a really good place for cog takes, so I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled here. We're not gonna follow that on guard exactly, we're gonna go this way. The, just an inkling. Ah, my inkling was right because there's Lancer ammo and uh, four stranded. Nice pretty though. Another checkpoint. All right. Down chopper. Oh, there's that might be the one from earlier. That may be kind of far fetched, but we gotta meet up with Cole and Bid sometime, right? So. Oh, man, I'm 
man, I would have killed to have still had that long shot from like 15 minutes ago. That would have been really nice, but hey, that's uh, we, we don't dwell on the past. We won't dwell on the past. Because it's not important. Let's keep her moving. Oh, well, aggressive. They ain't charging at me, though. They ain't charging at me, though. They ain't charging at me, though. I'm just, yeah, well, whatever. No, oh, they'll throw a grenade at me, though. Don't have to charge me, I'll just toss a, toss a projectile. Wow, they're hopping on. Quote unquote, hopping on heels. Someone. Oh, what a throw. A boomer, you say? And a boomer, you are right. Wow, he's really coming in hot. Don't get killed, don't get killed, don't get killed. Okay, I'm running. I'm, I'm kind of retreating a little bit here. We'll let Dom kind of handle some of the load. Can't get a target. Okay, now we should be fine. That boomer is going to Okay, that boomer is right there. Didn't even notice him earlier. Be a little bit more careful. Well, that kind of blows that whole uh, being careful thing out of the water. Dom's not my shot this time, that's trying to shot. Will they reload Dom, please? Well, I'm glad Dom was in the way. Moving out of the way. Not even taking a chance there. Good job, Dom. Doing great, on. It's all right. No car takes around either, so we'll just keep it moving. Another checkpoint, maybe. Seems like a good place for it. Jeez, a lot of open space. A lot of potential for car takes. I'll give it a look around. Let me just answer this quick. Text real quick, guys. Okay. Sorry, I, I know I keep getting distracted yeah. during the stream here. I just, a lot of people need things from me today. But you guys need me too, so I'm here for you. Or maybe not need, maybe you want me here. Or maybe you need, I don't know, hey, whatever you're into. If you like the start of the stream so much that you need it, that's awesome. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. And I hope I can continue making you guys happy, so... Can we kick over? Oh, no, we can't. Is there a Crimson Omen? Nope, no Crimson Omen. Any cocktail? Nope. Can we, can, we get, can we jump up here? Hell yes, we can. Ammo, we'll take it. No cocktail, but still. That's alright. I would seriously not doubt it if we got all of them through a previous playthrough. Alright, more potential here. What do we got? Grenades, even better. Yes, 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 yes. I already went back through that way. Okay, my bad. Another checkpoint. Act 4, the long road home. Absolutely love it. Alright guys, um, I hate to go back on my, uh, my earlier claim that I was going to quit when I was going to... Uh, the next time I died, but I do have to run, so we're gonna call it quits right about here. This is a good place to stop. We're getting really close to Marcus's house and continuing the story and seeing what's all up with those locust tunnels. So we're making really good progress. 
Um, sorry again to cut it a little bit short here. I wanted to elongate the stream a little bit to compensate for yesterday, and we did a good amount of that today, so that's really good. Thank you so much for those of you who are watching and for sticking with the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you like what you're seeing and you want to hit the like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do, totally cool with it. Or if you didn't like it, let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy for uh, any other suggestions as well. Um, if you're listening on Twitch, Welcome to Hippo Nation, I greatly appreciate it, or if you're new to the YouTube channel, welcome again. I really appreciate you guys watching and taking time out of your schedule to uh, hang out with me. So, uh, Take care guys, have an awesome day, we'll pick this up, if, if not later, tomorrow for sure. Thanks so much for watching, this is a Bankrupt Hippo, signing off, have a phenomenal day.